bringing you the flavor of the Midlands. Live from Columbia, this is Soda City Live. And welcome back to Soda City Live, everyone. Former NBA player, Hall of Famer, and Carolina legend. He has a long list, right? We're talking about Alex English. He's gearing up to host his third annual celebrity golf tournament, benefiting Family Promise of the Midlands, with the goal here to raise enough funds to help local families experiencing homelessness, a really important issue. Joining us today is Alex English and the Executive Director of Family Promise of the Midlands, the organization, uh, Jeff Armstrong. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back to the show. We Glad love what back. you do for the community, Alex. Glad uh, to be here. Third year going in strong for mm -hmm. your big golf tournament. How does it feel? Feels great. Feels great. We had that one COVID year, but mm -hmm. we've bounced back and we're ready to roll. For people who are not familiar with the tournament, uh, bring us up to speed about what motivated you to start this, especially in the middle of a pandemic, doing it successfully, I may add. Well, actually, Jeff kind of motivated me. He, he told me that, you know, they were a, because they weren't able to do the, uh, what is it, the gala, gala the mm -hmm. gala that they do yearly, yeah. that, you know, we needed to make, make some money, raise some money, and I said, okay, well, I, what about a golf tournament? Yeah. And that was the beginning of the Family Promise Let's Share Golf Tournament. And so Family Promise has been a benefiting organization for the past three years, That's Jeff. Right. How has this golf tournament benefited the families here in the Midlands? You know, not just through the fundraising, mm -hmm. but also being able to be around, to come to the event, to be a part of it. That's mm -hmm. a big part of kind of my experiences growing up and knowing how important that is. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, getting together with Alex, you know, I share this story. I, I experienced homelessness in childhood and throughout my teenage years. So I'm leading my programming through things that I would want. Mm -hmm. And that's something I think that Alex understands. And it's something that I, honestly, I've grown and learned so much just from being around Alex. So the experiences I may not have had, well, I remember one time um, I was, we're talking about the golf tournament. Yeah. I was sitting out with Alex at his house and his beautiful wife, Miss Vanessa comes out and says, yeah, I'm gonna bring the charcuterie out. And I'm under the table Googling charcuterie because <laughs> I thought it was a board game. <laughs> yeah. And um, no, it was the most delicious spread of meats and cheeses and, and all these things. It's yeah. like, those are the experiences I want our families to have. And um, that's a big part of what Family Promise does with the faith community and an awesome part of what WIS has done in just supporting our organization. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and Alex, I wanna bring something to your attention. We know that a lot of people make it big and then go on to never even reflect and look back on where they mm -hmm. came from, but why was that so important for you to even at your status and all the things you accomplished in life to reach back and help others? Well, I am a Colombian. I was born and reared three blocks away from WIS at Barnwell and Gervais. Mm -hmm. And I grew up in poverty and knew what it was like. And during that era that I was growing up, I got an opportunity to experience uh, helping other people. You know, I would uh, go out and volunteer. And once I got to the NBA and I was able to do things for other people, I said, this is what I'm gonna do. And uh, you know, I, I was taking the example that my grandmother left me, mm -hmm. helping other people and I just, feel that it's what we all should be doing. And it's something we all should be doing. So let's talk about how the community can get involved with the golf tournament. Uh, first though, what would be the thing that people will look forward to this year when they sign up? Well, they, we've, got, we've got a great structure, great tournament. We've mm -hmm. got a lot of Hall of Famers gonna be there. Mm -hmm. We've got David, Tom well not David Thompson, we've got Dan Issel, we've got Charlie Scott, Basketball Hall of Famers, Ralph Sampson. Uh, football, we've got Donnie Shell. We've got uh, George Rogers, we've got Corey Miller, we've got the fast, used to be the fastest man in the world, wow. Willie Galt. He's coming, he's gonna be there as well. And we've got a host of other folk. So we're looking to have a, a great time. And you know, our sponsors, the, the Walk Up and Company, Bill Walk Up and Company Foundation, they are the ones that sponsor us along with Aflac. And you've, we've gotta mention them and we've got other people that are contributing as well, but we're gonna have a lot of fun. We've got a lot of Hall of Famers there, football, mm -hmm. basketball, track, and we've even got uh, one of the Hootie and the Blowfish guys coming up. He's gonna be a surprise, but yeah. he's gonna be there as well, so. And Jeff, that's what you're talking about, those experiences absolutely. right there. Yeah, that's absolutely. amazing. How can people sign up? Well, they can go to the Let's Share Found Alex Ainge Let's Share Foundation mm -hmm. Golf Tournament. I don't know if I've got it. It's, it should be on your screen. Okay, yeah, let's pull that information there uh, for our viewers. It should be on the screen. There we go. They can, uh, it's at Cobblestone, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to have a great time. We've got a dinner before, the, the night before. 
where you can meet all the Hall of Famers, uh, like an old-fashioned old Southern barbecue. And then on the Monday, October 3rd, we will tee off, I think, is at 9 or 10, Jeff? Yeah. And we're nine, going to have a great day. Shock will start 10. Looking forward to it. It's so. going to be a fun time. And then, Jeff, I want to ask you, how can people pass uh, the golf tournament be able to support a family promise? Yeah. So we partner with the faith community. We have 34 different partner congregations in our community. So our model of service was upended during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So serving in churches, we've had to create a static site shelter model. We have a dream of 25 houses by 2025. And one of the wonderful WIS TV alums, Craig Melvin, is yes. in, and Miss mm -hmm. Betty Jo Melvin, they're helping in that. So um, it's, a, it's a community response. And that's how you deal with trauma. And that's how you get families out of fight or flight to get them to the point where they could thrive. And that's what we're trying to do here. Well, Alex and Jeff, thank you so much for coming to the show. Thank you for what you're doing for the community. And we know that each year this tournament is going to grow and get bigger and better. There's